don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rock it like that. Slide like it's so nice and about to skate. Tell the driver drop me off. I'm at the crib more. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Anderson. Where are we headed? Sounds good, we'll be there soon. I got two babies here to live for. Yeah, yeah, though I walk through these dark places. I fear no evil, but my heart's racing. Stepping over dead bodies and shit heartbreaking. Got angels watching me from all angles. So the homies that ain't make it hope you here right now. No, you ain't here right now. So many lost souls, but I wanna drop a tear right now. Mm. This ain't where I wanna be in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beloved. Let's have this conversation with the congregation. You know what I'm saying? What's poppin' with the population? Smell like money, let's make some yeah me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a couple things we need to talk about. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy Showtime SP and all that and all of that. So I wanna um holla at y'all about this live. Uh, yesterday that landed on uh, 15 minutes of fame. It was uh, Loaded Lux and Nunu Nels, you know what I'm saying? They was talking about a bunch of things. And you know what? I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy. And I got a Snapple. Yeah, we're gonna get to the Snapple top fact in one second, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody for reaching out, you know what I'm saying? I've been working and all of that. But the reason why I ain't blogged in a couple of days is there was no event this weekend. So since there was no event this weekend, it really ain't nothing much to talk about. I don't like to force content and just jump in front of my camera when there's really nothing to talk about. So with the event not happening, it kind of pushed the algorithm back because, you know what I'm saying, we can either jump in front of the camera and talk by force or by choice. But we're gonna, we definitely got a lot to speak about. Um, with uh, this whole Loaded Lux thing, you know what I'm saying? Loaded Lux finally responds to the facts that people been wanting to know, you know what I'm saying? The whole B Dot situation. B Dot up. Like, it's, what, what B Dot, like, what could he do? Not for real. He could rap. He could rap. But the problem is, not even at the problem, I'm not even gonna say it's a problem. Because I, I, I'm gonna be the nigga and teach a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, after he see it, you know, he, he can be like, oh, okay, that's, that's the other thing you gotta add to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. There's a degree of substance that that's that that niggas lack that sometimes it just ain't it, it, it ain't it ain't in wordplay. And I and I feel you wanna throw him in throw him in that conversation, you know what I'm saying? It like what respectfully I, I uh, the daylight situation. He was saying, you know, B Dot can't can't F with him on any level, you know what I'm saying, Lord of Lux, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, I took a couple days off because it pays more. Uh huh. Now I'm in a beige law with the gray doors. I just want to let you know that if you think that B Dot can't get with you or can't rap on your level, you either sadly mistaken or it's backwards as a Muslim who says, Pass me the bacon. Um, I just want you to know that uh, you either has to be hating, but Rooftop Dot. It's one of them ones right now, you know what I'm saying? Class is awakened, and I just need you to know that uh, the reason why a lot of the MCs talk like they do in their battles is because you made them, you made them comfortable doing it, you know? We're not asking you to come outside and battle against every single person. That's not what was asked. But we have been asking to see your handle against the new perspective fire cat. See, the reason why a lot of people would be finding it hard to consider Loaded Lux, the legend of legend of legend of legends. You know, he's legend status, he's top tier, he's a GOAT, one of the GOATs, one of the innovators of the culture, but he ain't done it on this level versus the newest talent. Yeah, you battled Calico back in the days and then, you know, you came back, you had Verb, you had Lux, I mean, you had Mook, you had uh, those type of battles, but in this day and age, we want to see you versus who's hot right now. Let's get to the Snapple top fact. Let's see what it says, beloved. It says, real fact number 705, every ton of recycled paper saves about 17 trees. Saves about 17 trees. Let's get to the Snapple top facts, big baby. That's a fact. And the Snapple top fact for you, my guy, is that you are not bad, but I keep you in focus. So, 
when you're not having them conversations with the MCs that are here right now and that are relevant, you leave the door open. You know, you've been too humble for the rumble. And if you would have been in this bag, and I get it, you know, I know Loaded Lux costs a lot of money to book. I know, but even Kobe Bryant played ball at the Rucker, even if it was just one time, you know, and that was after he already won the NBA championship and things like that. He still played ball at the Rucker. Lux, you ain't played ball at the Rucker yet. And I understand that, you know, you was doing this before there was cameras. Will Chamberlain scored 100 points off camera. This is a new era. This is a digital era. People want to see it. And the performance versus Surf just was not enough. Even though Surf was not good versus you. And the thing is, like, a lot of people ask, as far as the whole Surf situation goes, I see it like this. Y'all could go back and check the predictions, check everybody's talks. Nobody had him winning that battle. Nobody. Because he was already musically deep in projects. He was already one foot out the door. And people already knew that he was not going to bring it. They were, I had no, zero, I had zero reason to believe that uh, Sue Surf was going to do anything versus Lux besides what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody had no reason to believe any, anything but that. But... Nels was the one that was asking you the questions that needed to be asked. You know, people try to, you know, get at her sometimes and talk crazy about her, but she should have an interview platform because she asked the questions that needed to be asked. No disrespect to none of the interview platforms out there, but y'all niggas never ask the questions that need to be asked. The way I hope every media platform that does interviews or that, you know, see, sees this and see the questions that people be wanting to know. Y'all be going along with everything that the artists say all the time and there's a way to be respectfully disrespectful and get the questions that people want to know see the thing is with Lux a lot of the time when he does these interviews he starts talking in circles and people and she shut that down immediately because he'd be like you know a lot of these people are on their plane, but they can't find the center. See, when they find the center, they realize that that vision, yeah, 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 that thing that we're going to meet and we're going to clash when these planets get together. That's a Snapple top fact, baby. You know what I mean? Like, like he got to understand that he ain't reached his prism yet. He ain't got to that thing. But when he gets to that thing, and after, after a while, nobody knows what he's talking about. And these platforms let him do that over and over and over. I've seen it on the best of them. You name the platform. I've seen a Loaded Lux interview where he's basically danced around the subject and nobody helps him. And she checked it immediately. Yo, why can't we get straight answers? Why can't we get straight answers to the point where he got pissed off? He was like, yo, B-Dot can't fuck with me. B That's what we need. We need, yo, Snapple Top Fag, big baby. Snap. That's what we need. We need straight answers. Fuck all the extra shit. Fuck the chaser. And I like Snapple Apple. That's one of my favorite kind. But that's what we be needing. Don't nobody want to hear no. He 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 do that thing, but he ain't reached them levels yet. He ain't got to this to the to the to that to that upper level. It's, it's, it's another. I told him meet me up there. Well, you know what I'm saying? I told him meet me up there. And then she started talking about how B Dot is not rooftop dot. Lux wasn't feeling that. He said, "What's the rooftop? It's on top of the caffeine building." Listen, the reason why people feel comfortable getting at you the way that they do is because you made it that way. You made it where people was comfortable talking about you like that. I posted a video clip of Loaded Lux the other day, uh, you know, with just some old school bars. And I, I was like, Danny, DNA, Chilla, is this, is this, are you sure this is what you want? And DNA replied, yup, immediately, yup, this is what I want. Like they, <laughs> you made it to where niggas feel comfortable talking about you like that. They shouldn't even feel comfortable challenging you or even wanting that smoke because you're supposed to be the, the heir of the throne. You're supposed to be the one that's controlling the game, not gatekeeper status. But once somebody gets to a high enough plane, you're supposed to be meeting them there like, nah, mm -mm, this ain't it. I'm going to X them out. And then you talked about how she asked you about how Chilla called you out, how DNA called you out, and how all these people called you out, Danny called you out, and you said you responded to it in an interview. And she said, interview? Nigga, you doing interviews? You're supposed to be the best MC ever. You out here responding to niggas in interviews? That is 
what is supposed to be happening. People are supposed to be calling these battle rappers out, challenging them, letting them know like, yo, like it can't go like this. Like you gotta, um, you you gotta you gotta see people in that ring, big baby, before you can sit there and just be like, you know, when it comes to this, you the best of all time. Listen, I got no doubt in your pen. I know you watch the blogs. You know, I know you got, you know, family that's in this shit, you know what I'm saying? And you got a good team around you. And they do watch this stuff, and I do appreciate it. But, dog, you've been way too humble for the rumble. People should not feel comfortable. You got to ask yourself, right? Huh? Huh, beloved? You got to ask yourself, why do they even feel comfortable? Why, does, why would one even feel comfortable to challenge you like this if you're supposed to be the architect, huh? If you're the architect of the culture, why do people even feel comfortable calling you out the way that they do. You know why? Because they see something. And what they saw was what happened with you in the surf battle. You in the surf battle was not that crazy even on your behalf. It wasn't. You won, but it wasn't crazy. You know what I'm saying? You won, but it wasn't crazy. You did good enough to get by. You got your bag. You did your numbers. But it wasn't crazy. It was not crazy. It was not... There was nothing memorable. I can't tell you nothing about that battle. Hmm? Hmm? I got over a thousand videos. Huh? I got a lot of recaps too. Yeah, big baby. Our recaps do numbers over here. But I can't tell you nothing about that battle. At all. Not a single thing. I can't even tell you nothing. And it ain't because Surf uh, was being Surf. You know what I'm saying? It ain't because that. It, it's a Snapple Top fact. It ain't because it ain't of him. Even though he was not he was not impressive, <laughs> you was just satisfactory. And it was a lot of daylight. Let's talk about the daylight thing. That performance that you had versus Surf would not even wouldn't even be on the same planet as the performance that Daylight had versus Tay Rock. Your last two performances, the one versus Verb 2, wouldn't have been on the same planet. Daylight literally just put up one of the all-time best three-round performances. Huh? Huh? Bam. Bam. We're not gonna talk about that? Hmm? We don't want we don't wanna address that. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. You said that uh you and daylight is the thing. Well you and daylight should happen this year. You and daylight needs that because it's been being pushed back year by year by year. It's to the point now, whenever a new you know what Smack say, details and developments, details and developments, yeah, 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 yeah. Every time a new detail comes out, it don't even really be, the energy don't even feel the same about reporting. You really be like, all right, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, until we get a card, or until we get a legitimate announcement, people kind of been a little, a little hesitant to really jump at that thing, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta, and for the fans, we, I know how we feel. The ones that's from New York, you know, they got a lot of loyalty towards Lux and what he's done for battle rap culture, but the ones from other places is like, yo, I don't care right now. What you talking about ain't really registering well with me because he ain't doing it right now. You know what I'm saying? We're not asking you to be on every card, but there's a lot of people who have earned a conversation with Lux. You can't tell me DNA ain't earned a conversation with Lux. You can't tell me that there's a bunch of MCs. Chilla Jones could have a conversation with him. B Dot could definitely have a conversation with him. I would battle B Dot off the premise of I'm going to be the teacher to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Since, 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 uh, since others can't reach you, I'm going to be the teacher to teach you. And you know B Dot is going to respond to this. He's going to say something. And I'll be right back in front of this camera. Am I saying that B Dot would beat Lux? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm definitely sure they would have a great battle. You know, it would be great to see Loaded Lux for just the sake of the sport. One time on the roof versus B Dot, remove all of the lights, the glimmer, the $50,000 contracts, and all that shit. And I'm telling get your bag. I'm not telling you not to get your bag, get your money. But remove all of that and just to show it what, because if he shows it, and makes an example out of somebody again, ain't nobody gonna be able to question your handle no more. Ain't nobody gonna be able to question that. There ain't nobody gonna be able to question that. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I personally love to see it, but you gonna move how you wanna move. But the, the interviews, even though it was IG Live, 
It took a female on an IG Live to ask the questions that needed to be asked. And regardless of how y'all feel, positive, negative, up, down, about her, she asked the questions that needed to be asked. I don't have to be a fan. I don't have to follow. I don't have to do nothing. But I can appreciate when somebody asks the questions that need to be asked to cause the open dialogue about why are are you scared to she said are you scared to lose to a new person? That made a whole lot of sense, yo. Because there was the whole Loaded Lux versus JC thing. I spoke to Loaded Lux face to face and he told me that that JC thing could happen. Now I understand that JC dropped the ball since then. He's took a bunch of battles that he shouldn't have took. Uh, he battled a bunch of new people. He's lost to new people. Like since then, so he's completely fumbled that package. I get it. But that should not close the door on a whole generation of young, hungry spitters who got bars and who could bring it. Huh? Come on, man. Like, like Lux, I rock with you. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Eternally, I love what you do, but <laughs> you kind of got treated in that interview. And, I, and she got you, and she got you where she needed to get you, big baby. And hopefully, uh, this leads to at least the conversation. You know what I'm saying? You and Daylight definitely has to happen. I can see you versus DNA. I'd like to see you versus uh, B Dot. I'd like that. Uh, every ton. A recycled paper saves about 17 trees, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just want you to know that if you did not know, you know what I'm saying? We all learned something today. Okay, let's focus on the Snapple topic, fact, big baby. Uh, okay, yeah, that's about it. That's about as good as we're going to get today. Um, salute to all the MCs out there. Like I said, I didn't want to um, just jump on the camera and be talking about a bunch of random shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Um... Salute to, uh, I, I had watched more of the Crucibles from New York, more talent. Uh, the first one, I, I, we're just going to let that go. The second one, they have some pretty good MCs. Uh, Kid Slade, Fire. I'm watching, I, I'm watching. I went back and watched you versus Bangs. Uh, and I think it was Prez Mafia. Got a couple joints out there. Ren Thomas, I rock with that. And Black Rolex, I, I, I'm watching. I'm watching. I do think that... Some of the MCs that have been seen from a while ago, like if we seen you on a bunch of different platforms, no need to name the leagues, they shouldn't really be in this type of setting. I think this should be for all brand new talent. I spoke to URL yesterday for about an hour and a half. Y'all be thinking that we got issues. I don't got issues with nobody. I don't have issues with URL. I don't have issues with nobody. Like whatever's the past is the past. We spoke for about an hour and a half yesterday and they did explain that. The meaning of the Crucible is to release everything. They want to release the good, the bad, every single moment that happens. And everything ain't going to be good. Because if you only show somebody your good, you'll never see the bad. And I remember being at Proven Ground events back in the days. And there were a lot of battles that were bad. So just to re-take a couple steps back. When I look at the process now, yes, you're, in these Crucibles, you're going to see some ugly moments with some battle rappers that we're going to be like, what the fuck? Who picked this person? But... There are some good. I've seen a couple little gems here and there. And um, we're going to see where this goes. But other than that, you already know what it do and what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to that. Snapple top fact. Gang. Okay. Kind of slide like it's so nice and about to skate. Tell a driver drop me off. I'm at the crib more. <laughs> good evening, Mr. Anderson. Where are we headed? Sounds good, we'll be there soon. I got two babies here to live for. Yeah, you yeah, know I walk through these dark places. I fear no evil, but my heart's racing. Stepping over dead bodies and shit heartbreaking. Got angels watching me from all angles. So the homies that ain't make it hope you here right now. No, you ain't here right now. So many lost souls, but I wanna drop a tear right now. Mm. This ain't where I wanna be in life. Pace this you 